Hi there, I'm Mike, and that's okay. I don't know why I said that. Apparently, I used to say it, and someone asked me why I don't say it anymore on Twitter or Instagram, one of those social medias. So I decided I'd say it. So that's what I did. I said it. Anyways, hi there, I'm Mike, and I've got some stuff for you today. I've got a haul video slash PO box unboxing slash I'm just gonna sort of talk at the camera. I tried to brush out my beard bump because I went on a little errand run slash toy hunt today. Didn't find any cool NECA turtles. Kind of hoping to find Metalhead or the KC cartoon two pack. I don't really so much care about the live action one. And also apparently the Rockstar turtles are showing up in targets and really want those. I didn't find any of them though. I also didn't find any Luke Yoda two packs, but I've got those on order from Dork Side. So I'm not super caring if I find that in stores or not. It'd be nice to have it sooner, yes, but I'm also not in a super big hurry to own more things. Reviews are already piling up as they are. And speaking of which, I'm gonna go f just kind of show you a little bit on the future of my channel. So let's start, I've got these in my PO box. Uh, Zanini box, if you're up on that, I've got one of those to do. I'll, I'll post that a video on its own. I also got this bag from T-Box. Apparently they sent me some small shirts because I didn't respond to their email. I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean to not respond. Things got crazy uh, this last month, but um, I'll make those their own videos. So I'm not gonna do those unboxings right now. Uh, I do kind of want to talk about some things that I picked up recently. If you don't know, Dan Larson, Toy Galaxy, did a video on Animorphs. I learned that my wife, well, I didn't learn this, I knew this, but I was reminded slash found out how an actual big of a fan of Animorphs my wife was as we watched his video. And then he popped into my live stream a couple weeks ago where I was hanging out with my, with my buddy Zach and um, he and Zach sort of talked me into buying this. So thank you, Dan, for making me buy this. It's terrible. That's not gonna be a, a video on its own. I'm gonna do that probably in a bots and shots with Zach because it deserves alcohol to talk about that. The next thing that I did, I was supposed to get this a while ago, but uh, I, I was gonna do the video for this last week, but Amazon lost it in the mail. It's just, it's nowhere. No one knows where it is. It just sort of, it mailed off to me and somewhere in the middle of America, it just disappeared. But they sent me a replacement Obi-Wan way too late. I, I, I wanted to have a video for this up a while ago. I got that in the mail yesterday. Uh, I also just did a video for this. This is the snow speeder. Now, uh, I did an unboxing video for it where I kind of talk about my initial thoughts and then I hated it. But instead of deleting it, I did sort of make it a Patreon exclusive video because the differences were I was gonna either just throw it away and no one saw it or I'm not super happy with it and only people that like me enough to watch my garbage can watch it. So that's what I chose. The people uh, that pay to watch my stuff can watch basically the, the videos that I, I consider awful. Well, that doesn't really seem like a, a perk. Sorry guys. This is it out of the package and I am planning on reviewing this. This thing is massive and I have no idea where I'm gonna put it. It haunts me. I lay awake at night wondering where am I gonna put this? I have no idea. I found this double, well, Zach found me this double dealer. I'm, I'm gonna give credit where credit to do. Uh, I just literally, I literally just popped it open to play around with it. Earthrise double dealer. It's, it's actually an interesting toy. I don't know if I would say it's good but it's interesting. And then lastly, for sort of my haul, I did this on my live stream, but it's it's worth talking about because I wanna get this off my chest. I've had this since I got back from Florida. This is the Studio One Cell, uh, which should have been Zeta Toys Unicron. Because of legal reasons, they had to sell the head and the wings separately from the body. I've had this body for a long time, like a while, and I love it, but I got tired of having just a headless Unicron sitting there not staring at me. So I transformed him, and in the process of transforming him, I dropped him and broke him. Uh, so <laughs> be careful when you, when you play with this. He's got sharp bits. I've had him inside of my fingers because of his bits are so, so sharp, but one of these little spires broke when I hit the floor. Uh, it's nothing you'll ever notice because it's actually on the bottom down here and again when it's in robot mode where mine is gonna stay you know you don't see it because that part's tucked away in the leg I don't even know if USPS has any 
purview over this because it came from China. I've got a friend who is a, a, a viewer uh, working on it right now. He's messaged me a couple of times. He's been on the phone with the company looking for uh, my wings and head. It's some Chinese shipping company, c and &E, I don't know. But uh, I would love to get the head and wings for this because I've, I've had it for so long. I just I forget what it's like to have a, a, a figure with head and wings. I mean, I don't really know what it's like because I've never had it. I would like to have it. I just, I would like to experience a complete Unicron. That thing's really heavy. I was really worried about setting it down. I think that's all the new cool stuff. I'm waiting on G.I. Joe still. I'm waiting on the rest of the Attack of the Clones wave. Next, I've got some um, P.O. Box unboxings. All three of these packages were sent to me to my P.O. Box. If you want to send me something, you can, but I never asked for this. I never expect, well, one of these I, I did actually ask for, but I'll, I'll get into that. This one was sent to me by a friend of the show, an amazing human being, Papa Gord. If you uh, don't check out his channel, check out his channel. Super awesome guy. There'll be a link down below. Not like down here, but like, you know, down here. In here, he got me the Siege Mirage. That show's starting up like tomorrow, tomorrow night or Friday. Something, I'm looking forward to watching it. I'm gonna probably watch the whole thing on day one. He also sent me this little sword. I don't really know what the sword is. It looks cool though. He said it would probably go with some of my Mythic Legions. Here's some pictures. I don't know, it, it might look good with some of them. I do have the one ogre, which I'm not a fan of his weapon, but I bought because I like the way he looked. This might be more of a weapon for him, I think. Now this one, I have no idea what is in this. This is from my buddy Brian. Uh, TK6287, great guy, uh, we talk a lot. One of the cool things about having a YouTube channel is you you just meet some really awesome people. There's like a thousand pounds worth of tape on this. Literally ev every corner here is taped, like all of it. It's like I'm doing surgery. Okay, is this, nope, is it, uh, dang it, okay. All right, all right, this is, oh, Peloton isn't really a thing in here. I, don't, I, have, I literally have no idea what this is. Oh, cool. This this is tape too. Boo! Oh oh, this is thick tape. Ah, oh, seriously, what is this? Like military grade tape? Okay, slide this open. Hmm, got some packaging in here. Okay. Boxes within boxes. Oh. Shut the. You son of a bitch. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm, sh I'm, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm oh. look at look at this. I'm I'm so freaking excited. I'm so freaking excited. I'm so freaking excited. Oh. I have wanted one of these since they were announced at Senior Comic Con last year. This goes for ridiculous prices. I've been advocating for Hasbro to release this. This is the Boba Fett, which I have one of. He's right here. I also have the white one right here. This will be my third Boba Fett, not counting. I'm, I've got the carbonized one on pre-order. This is nice. This is different from any other carded figure. The seal is on the inside of the cardboard. I've never had one of these holographic convention exclusive ones before. Brian, you son of a bitch, fuck you. I'm shaking. Um, that's the back, that's the front. So this is the Kenner color Boba Fett. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if I said that. I'm so excited my brain has been scrambled right now. I don't even know how I'm forming sentences. But if you know anything about me. I'm about to make a lot of people mad. Maybe even Brian, I don't know. I don't leave things in packages. And I'm about to decrease its value exponentially. Do I care? Nope. You know why? Because I like to experience my toys. I don't view these as investments. I view them as things to be enjoyed. Don't care how much it's worth. I've got things that are worth tons of money around here that I open. Don't care. Oh, cool. He does come with a little blaster here. So this one, the weapons, don't have as much paint on them as the, the normal Boba Fett. He also comes with the E11 blaster because that's what the original Boba Fett came with. Yeah, so that's Boba Fett with his Kenner colors. Brian, if 
If you're freaking out because I opened this, I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sorry. You know who I am as a person. I think a, a million collectors just cried out and were suddenly silenced. There we go. That's how mine's staying on there. Oh, I love this so much. Even the top of the of the the rocket pack is even red because this was originally a rocket firing thing and the rocket was red. Oh, this is the coolest thing I've gotten all year. Oh my God, I don't deserve this. I know the people out there behind their keyboards going, you don't deserve this. I agree with you. Listen, I agree with you. I don't deserve this. I didn't pay for that. That's nuts, that's crazy. Oh, okay. The, the grand finale was supposed to be this box. Just for full transparency, I, I know what's in this. I didn't necessarily pay for it, but I paid for the shipping. For it. That was a deal I made. This is from my buddy David, who has an Instagram, um, Clown Baby. I think it's Clown Baby 213. It's down here. I'm not good with remembering stuff like that. Sorry, dude. He probably doesn't even care. And he does post things on Instagram, though. He's got a pretty good uh, collection that he likes to post for. So he's got a couple things in here. Let me let me get this stuff out of the way right here. So number one, oh, he gave me this little uh, reaction shockwave. Right here, this is gonna go, I have the Optimus Prime he actually got me a while ago. And the Optimus Prime's on my wall. I'll, I'll put this right next to it. I haven't opened these, and I, I guess I am an opener, but I don't know. I have a hard time opening those for some reason. I've got this, uh, I've got lion -O. I think he sent me lion -O. Um, But I've got this uh, Chitara, and then uh, Ty Tigra, who apparently has lost himself. Oh, here's uh, Panthro, right there. Here, uh, no, this is Jaga. Right there, a little, little Jagga. Somewhere I'm assuming I'll find um, Tiger's lower half, but <laughs> maybe not. Maybe he just sent me half of Tigra. I'm, I'm trying to do this as gently as possible. This stuff is handmade. This right here is a display for my Han Solo in Carbonite. I'm gonna find out a way to kind of just hang it up like that. Actually, that doesn't look too bad, just like that. I think it is actually lit. There's little LEDs down here. Look at this. Look at the detail on that. This is foam, by the way, like styrofoam or styrene or something. But uh, it looks so good. He did the painting really well, the wash. This is gonna sit right back on one of my shelves back here. This is gonna proudly display on there. But this is the thing that I, I asked him to, to build this. I'm just gonna, he made one for Papa Gord and I just kind of did one of my like, my like not so subtle hints like, I wonder how much it would cost to get you to make me one of those. And he said shipping, he just said shipping. So he made this throne for Jabba the Hutt. I'm gonna post pictures of all these things kind of put together. This is fantastic craftsmanship. It's gonna look so good. He made a fan to have a Jawa hold. And then that just leaves this little box. Now in here, oh yeah, we have the uh, just sort of kind of blankets or the, the matting for Jawa's palace, you know, the little thing here. In here, I think it's, it's a magnet to help magnet on this to that. With what also just kind of looks like a Energon cube. And then lastly, and definitely not leastly, this is from John Walker Customs. This is just a little 3D printed salacious crumb. It's just gonna sit on here with my Jabba the Hutt. So I have a really awesome Return of the Jedi Jabba the Hutt display, and then a little wall mount for my Han Solo and Carbonite, which I will do a review of, don't you worry. I was like, there's gotta be Tiger's legs in here somewhere. I found Tiger's legs, they're right there. And I think that's someone's Staff, maybe Chitara staff. So yeah, that's it. That is a crazy ass haul. Some of the stuff I bought myself, Treat Yourself 2020. Some of the stuff people generously sent me. And thank you so much to Papa Gord, David, and Brian. Brian, you are just damn, damn. And for everyone else watching this, also thank you for watching. It means a lot to me that anyone watches any of my videos at any time, because I don't even know if I'd watch my own videos, to be honest with you. But if you did like this, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know 
what you thought of this? I don't, I don't know. Did I upset you too much opening up the Boba Fett? Did I ruin your whole day because you saw that? I'm so sorry. I'll probably put a trigger warning or something on here. On top of the people that I thanked already in the video, I'd love to thank my Patreon supporters and Kevin, my one YouTube member, channel member. I have that. I don't know if anyone wants to watch it. Again, I have posted one video for those people to see uh, because again, it was a video I was gonna throw away anyway. I didn't really like it. If you don't wanna do that, that's fine. I don't, I don't, it's, it's, honestly, it's absolutely fine. But thank you so much for watching. Thanks for getting this far. Like, share, and subscribe. And that's it. I'll see you later. Bye.